girls, Gadafrey Forever Nice and welcome to another Dot 2 BM 2019 uh, figure review. This time I'm going to be reviewing the Sontaran Collector figure set, uh, the first of the three packs I'll be reviewing on this channel. This three pack mostly features uh, re releases with Staya and Lynx, uh, which have had sort of major repaints. But most excitingly, we have Harry Sullivan, which I know I thought we'll be getting entirely new figures, well, in this case, a new head sculpt. Um, for these B&M sets. This is really exciting. So that's kind of the must buy uh, for this set. We'll be going through the Sontarans, uh, sort of comparing them to their original releases, uh, and obviously looking at the Harry Sullivan figure. So without further ado, let's take a look at the packaging. Top layer we have the new Dot 2 logo, uh, with the new TARDIS sort of on the left hand side going down. The Gallifrey and Sybil going across the top. The bubble set includes Harry Sullivan, uh, Phil Major Steyer and Commander Lynx 5 Plus in the right hand corner. Now I think with this design, I do really like it, but with these three packs, some of the taller figures, uh, from the pictures I've seen for the Silver Nemesis set, does kind of restrict the view of obviously their heads. So sometimes has a kind of chopped off at the top. Um, so when you're sort of looking in your b &M sets for quality control stuff, just be aware of that. Bottom left, we have the limited edition gold 3D logo. Uh, as I said in my previous review, I don't think uh, these would be that limited edition. There'll be more stock compared to uh, previous years. The title of the set, the Sontarans, the collector figure set is from the bottom of that. Going over to the right, we've got 5.5 inch, 14 centimeter scale collector series. I don't know if they made the jump actually from 5 inches to 5.5 um, a couple of years ago. I'm not too sure about that. I have to sort of measure uh, the previous figures. And then we've got the character which is logo uh, down at the bottom right. On the left hand side, we've got the logo, the name of the set at the bottom, and a nice 3D design of the TARDIS. And then swiveling it on round, uh, we've got again Dot2 logo, then really nice pro images of the figures themselves. Top of the box, got the contents of the set. Dot to logo and the cat doctor's website at the bottom um, we've got all the sort of copyright stuff content set barcode which as a result has made the back a really nice clear display piece on the back uh, we've got the same sort of stuff dot to logo uh, the contents of the set etc uh, and then again the three images clearly displayed it's a shame they haven't put actually bios which was seen on the doctor and tardis that i previously reviewed because they've put all sort of the copyright stuff and technical jargon down at the bottom away from the back um, i think it would have been nice for newer fans to possibly have the opportunity to sort of read up on each of like Staya and Lynx, like their stories, uh, and also a little bar on Harry, I think they could have done that. But I guess it keeps the simplicity, um, but yeah, I think it would be nice if they included the bio stuff. So without further ado, let's open this up. So all the figures out of the packaging. Uh, as you can see behind them, there's a new background, which is this sort of plain white background with sort of gray artistic uh, design stripes going down. This is all the same for the free free packs um, release this year. I do like it, I like the simplicity of it, uh, and it makes the eye kind of more drawn to the figures themselves, which is really nice. So I'm going to go through each figure in kind of chronological order. We're going to start with Lynx from the Time Warrior, uh, Staya from the Suntar Experiment, and then finally go on to Harry. So without further ado, let's go back to the Time Warrior and look at Lynx. Here's Lynx, uh, which had the most kind of drastic different paint applications. Now according to Al Duard uh, for the video uh, that was done for the unboxing of these new BM sets, um, they went back to previous images before it was kind of painted to that kind of brown colour which the original figures have, which I will be comparing to once I've gone through uh, this one, but yeah, it's kind of like a really pale, um, kind of strict back version, um, but it still has the same features. First I'm going to take a look at the articulation. Um, so the head actually can do a swivel uh, from side to side. The arms can go the full 360 round. There is bicep movement, but it's kind of restricted by the sort of massive chest piece. Um, and the hands can do a full 360 as well. The waist can do a full 360. The legs can go back and forth, move at the joints. Uh, and the feet are stationary as they're sort of clipped on by the joint. So this Lynx figure, under the light, does kind of a grey uh, kind of tone to him. Nice deep tone around the eyes, it's been painted pink. Going around as well, uh, obviously the same pattern, as the kind of patches of hair behind the ears, which I think is a really nice touch. Uh, we've got the probic vent at the back of the neck. The neck piece has been painted like a really light silver, which is the same for both uh, style as well. Actually, they've kind of painted a bit of black underneath as well, uh, which I don't know if it's a paint leak or they've tried to kind of skim underneath, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is obviously going off the original figure, which is really amazing. And um, the, the sort of design they've gave for the like, kind of plastic rubber suit. The waist stuff going around, which is like this really nice sort of silver 
uh, patches, it's sort of gridded. His side piece is really nicely detailed, the red button uh, with sort of black as aspects as well. Um, he do has his gun holder. Of course, he's got his knee pads, which again have been painted this kind of light silver. Unlike most BLM sets, the Santorans do come with their own accessories. Uh, so he comes with his original helmet, which got the gridding with the arrow sort of symbol um, at the top. And of course, comes with his kind of magic wand, um, which is painted sort of gold and silver uh, at the bottom and a sort of black uh, with a silver stripe at the top end. It's really nice to see the original accessories come with uh, this Sontaran figure. Compare both the original and the new release side by side, uh, you can quite clearly see the sort of difference. Uh, in the paint applications, and uh, this is the same with the hands as well. Uh, so it kind of depends which version you prefer more. Um, I think I prefer the original just down sort of detail, and I think it's kind of more accurate to the story. I'm not sure about the arm pads, they've been kind of painted a more lighter silver, but the rest of the body is the exact same, uh, even down to the paint applications with the uh, side bit. But it's cool they've re-released this, and they kind of warranted it, with new paint applications, which does might kind of make it a kind of unique Sontaran. If I've had to pick one, I think I'll stick uh, with the original. But if you missed out on the original, uh, the new one is a great counterpart. And for another comparison, here's both Sontaran Lynxes uh, with the helmet off. I think it would have been nice actually with this one if they actually painted the um, eyes black um, to kind of make that gridding kind of stand out with the new release. I know they've done it with the Silver Nemesis Cybermen, they've actually painted the eyes which was an improvement on the original version but uh, that's me being a bit too picky. On to the second Sontaran of this set which is Styre from the Sontaran Experiment. I will be comparing it to the original. The colour tone of the paint applications of his sort of skin are basically the same and it is probably the most accurate to the figure uh, just as a slight minor details which I'll compare later. But first we'll take a look at the articulation. Um, so the head can turn side to side, don't do the full 360 or the head might come off. Um, the arms can do the full 360 turn, uh, swivel at the biceps, back and forth with the joints. Hands can do a full 360 as well. Again, full 360 at the waist, back and forth at the legs, do his ninja kick. Uh, and then up and back at the joint uh, and the feet are stationary. Look at detail now, I'd say the original face sculpt is absolutely brilliant. All the Sontaras of the class series I think they've got down to a T and they're really pitch perfect. The neck and all the other chest kind of pieces have been painted silver. The same colour as the Lynx figure. Watching clips in the Sontaran experiment before uh, reviewing this, both figures are kind of inaccurate because obviously this is really like silver uh, and the original one's a black matte. Uh, and they're kind of both inaccurate. It's kind of more black, but there is some silver in there. So both versions have got it wrong. But I see this as a kind of supreme Sontaran. I don't know if you'd call it that. Um, but yeah, the Sontaran on the TV screen, um, I think this is kind of this version. Going down, obviously you've got the same body mould. Uh, obviously with the grin around, the sort of chest pieces on the arms. They have added arm obviously of course to the bottom, uh, which was black but they've been defined uh, this time around with silver, which I think is a nice touch. It does kind of show you that there is armour, um, compared to the original release which does, is all painted black so you can't really see any difference. So I do like that, obviously going around the back with the probic vent. Obviously the side arm as well, uh, which is basically the same as Lynx's one, just without sort of the black lining at the bottom. Comparing both the original and the new one again, as you can see with the original, obviously of course the main difference is the armour painting, obviously it's sort of a black matte and this is a silver. This is really close to the original, so if you did miss out, there, there's kind of no difference, apart from the kind of dirtier wash on the original. And also the mouth's been more defined, so you kind of have that wider gap. Um, you actually see his kind of teeth more as well. But the side piece is the exact same paint applications, as I said, the armour's been obviously more defined, as you can see, with the black and silver. Both are kind of really accurate in that kind of terms, the armour stuff. So it doesn't matter which one you really have. As you can see now, comparing both helmets, again, my kind of same gripe with the B&M sets, I think it would have been cool if they actually painted the eye sockets to kind of make them more stand out. Of course, you can't really do that uh, with the sort of black matte version of the original, which is a really awesome uh, 70s Sontaran figure. As I said, the accessories he does come with is the helmet, and also his ping pong gun, <laughs> uh, which is a really cool gun with a ping pong stuck in the end. No difference from the original, but it is a really cool moulded uh, little accessory. So if you weren't convinced by the Sontarans for buying this set, I think this is the kind of must buy for the set. We have Harry Sullivan from the Sontaran Experiment. What a figure, what a sculpt. This does open the door I think for classic companion figures. Uh, as to say, we've had new head sculpts 
for this and the Sontaran figure in the two Doctors set. So it's really cool actually doing new head sculpts and using old bodies, which I think we can have a lot of fun with kind of future releases in the next coming years for B&M set. This is a figure I thought we'd never see, because he was kind of a secondary companion in a way with a trio. I didn't think we'd ever see it. So first let's look at the articulation. The head turns side to side, and we can do the full 360, but I wouldn't because the actual collars thing will kind of scratch the figure. The arms can do the full 360. Uh, full 360 at the biceps, up and down at the joint. 360 hand movement, uh, as you can see, this is the uh, sonic hand pose, uh, which I'm sure you've kind of guessed kind of what this figure is based on. Uh, the waist can do the full 360, uh, the legs can kind of go up full 360 round, uh, back and forth at the joints, and the feet are sculpted, so they're staying where they are. Turn look at the new head sculpt now. The nose is perfect. I think this is really, really great. I think it does look slightly better uh, from the side portfolio. There you go. You can see Harry Sullivan then. Uh, you can see with the hair, obviously it's black. There is a nice whitewash to kind of uh, highlight uh, all the curls, etc. Um, so that works really well. Uh, we've got blue eyes, sort of bush eyebrows. Um, so yeah, really pleased with this head sculpt. I think it really works. Pinnacle on the side, but from the front it looks really great. As I kind of hinted earlier on, this figure has been seen many times before, and it's kind of a mismatch of Tom Baker figures, quite coincidentally enough. I mean, he's sort of Doctor's body, <laughs> uh, which is quite funny. So crazy enough, the actual coat is actually from... Uh, the Sontar Experiment set version uh, with the kind of duffel coat. However, the open collar section and the shoes and the sort of trousers have been used by the City of Death version. All the shoes are the same, um, there is no difference there. But you can see what they've cleverly done. When I saw the first images for the Harry Sullivan figure, I kind of guessed it was Tom, but I was trying to work out which ones. So it does really work, and again, this does open the door for future companions. Taking at the colour of the costume now, the trench coat has been painted kind of beige yellow, uh, which is really screen accurate. And um, there are no kind of different kind of shades or anything on this, it's just been kind of bulk painted, which is fine, it does work uh, for this costume. Uh, as you can see, they've got the light blue collar underneath. You can kind of see Tom's waistcoat, which they've never actually painted on the Tom Baker one. <laughs> so it's really, really strange uh, that they've kind of moulded it but never actually painted it on. Uh, underneath, you can obviously see the dark blue lining, uh, which kind of teases his sort of underneath uh, blue jacket costume, uh, which I think we'll probably see in a future release. Going down, obviously in the back, you can quite clearly see obviously his Tom Baker figure uh, with that mould on the top. Uh, you've got the grey trousers, which again, just been Box painted grey and the black shoes. So overall, this is a fairly decent set. Uh, obviously, you get the re release of the Sontarans, which I think kind of lessened for me because obviously I've got the previous versions. However, I think it's great for if you missed out on the Sontaran uh, sets from back in the day because they've both been painted kind of silver. Um, I'll be putting the helmets on and using them um, in my Invasion of Time display on my shelf, which obviously in that story they do have an army of Sontarans. But it's great as well for army building the Sontarans as well. But of course, the main buy. Um, is first Harry, uh, which is an awesome sculpt, uh, really nicely done, uh, really cleverly done as well, obviously with the reuse of the Tom Baker outfit. As I said, obviously you can see his blue jacket, which I think will be a future release, maybe a kind of Revenge of the Cybermen set or Genesis. I think to be honest, this might have worked better as a Suntar Experiment set, with possibly swapping out links for Sarah. Also had a lot of Sarah Jane Smith figures, but we've never had a classic one. Um, so I'm really, really hoping we do get a classic version of Sarah to go with uh, the season 12, uh, Tom and Harry. I say, fingers crossed, this does open the door now for future companions, which all you need to do is create a sculpt and reuse parts from previous figures. So I hope you enjoyed my review of this on Taran set. Please comment, like, and subscribe me, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, links to that stuff in the description below. What do you think of this on Taran set? What sort of future companions would you like to see done? Uh, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. My next B&M review will be the 8th Doctor and Dalek Interrogator Prime, one of the free two packs of exclusive big finishes, which I'm excited to look at. So until then, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye, bye!